sky. Wow. Master told me one day that I'd find peace in every way. Though in search for a clue, wrong things I was bound to do. Keep my head to the sky. I got to stop. That's it. That's it. That's it. Woo! Lord have mercy. You got to you gotta keep your head to the sky and your, as the old folks used to say, your hands on the plow. Because, um, you know, these elite, these, these people, you know, are so, so insane. And their disdain for people of color, you know, and not just people of color, anything that <laughs> reflects Black Lives Matter um, really gets their feathers ruffled. And it's so sad. Um, BLM, I should say. Um, that's probably going to have to get flagged now. But because the, the individual that was killed in this uh, particular situation was not even um, of my hue, okay? He was of Caucasian hue. And it doesn't matter because as far as they're concerned, he's like Viola Luso or an end lover. So... This judge, if you ask me, that is in um, residing over uh, Kyle Rittenauer's case, he needs he needs to be uh, gone, and there needs to be more uh, uh, stink about this. This guy is unfit. He's unfit to be a judge, and his name um, is Schroeder. And this is right over down the road in Kenosha. Let me let me just let me just tell y'all what what this um what the um what this damn judge has ruled. He's got to be. It's just insane. This is the worst judge on the face of the earth. He's he. This is insane. Prosecutors in the criminal trial for Kyle Rittenhouse, the teenager who shot and killed two protesters last year. In Kenosha, Wisconsin, will not be able to refer to people that he shot as victims, a judge's rule. While defense attorneys may be able to call them arsonists or looters. Now, y'all, are y'all hearing this? This, this is insane. I mean, you know what? It's almost like they are daring us, you know, to challenge them in all kinds of ways. And we have to be vigilant. And continue to attack stuff like this because this person has no place in a reset of society. See, people like this got to be done away with. They need to be put out to pasture um, because they have no place in a new a new world. They just don't. In a proceeding about the ground rule for up for the upcoming trial, which is next week, prosecutors and defense lawyers debated whether certain language, witnesses, or evidence would be allowed. The judge, the word victim is a loaded, loaded word. I think alleged victim is cousin to it, said Bruce Sh uh, Schroeder. Now, that's the judge. All of y'all should write in to this judge. I'm going to give you the information, uh, and I'll put it in the link in the description below because he needs to be, y'all, he needs to be dealt with. Asking prosecutors to instead use the term complaining witness. Or de uh, descendant to refer to those shot by Rittenhouse. This is insane. Meanwhile, the defense will be allowed to refer to uh, three people Rittenhouse shot as arsonists, looters, and rioters. So as long as they took part in those activities, the judge ruled, a decision prosecutor Thomas Binger called a double standard. Let the evidence show what the evidence shows, Schroeder said. And if the evidence shows that any or more than one of these people were engaged in arson, rioting, or looting, then I'm not going to call them a victim. I'll call, I can't call them that. 
Jury selection begins Monday in this trial. Rittenhouse faces multiple felony charges of homicide and recklessly endangering the safety of others along with not everybody that saw this on television. Saw a 17-year-old boy with an assault rifle cross state lines. Shoot two people in Kenosha, and he don't even live there. Go back across state lines where his mammy dropped him off. Yeah, he has pleaded guilt, not guilty to all charges. And his lawyers argued that the shooting was in self-defense. His case began during a tumultuous week in Kenosha after police were there and shot and injured a black man named Jacob Blake as he was attempting to enter his car. Blake, who at the time had a warrant out for his arrest on charges related to a sexual assault and domestic abuse, survived but is paralyzed now from the waist down. The Blake shooting, which took place less than three months after the George Floyd death, ignited protests around Kenosha that turned destructive. Over several nights, protesters destroyed uh, police cars, damaged storefront, and burned down a used car dealership and furniture store and a state parole office. On August 29th, the third of the protests, Rittenhouse, then 17, made a short trip from his home in Illinois across the state line, armed with an AR-15 style rifle in response to a call from Kenosha-based militia groups saying that they hope to protect businesses from the protesters. That night, in a set of chaotic confrontation with protesters, Rittenhouse shot several people, killing two, Joseph Rosenbaum and Anthony Huber, and wounding a third, Gage uh, Grosskreutz. Monday's two-hour-long hearing effectively provided a preview of the arguments each side will make in the trial and what evidence will be crucial. Rittenhouse was being chased, attacked by a mob, kicked in the face, and beaten with a skateboard, defense attorney Corey Shafasi said. Sharafisi said. Sharafisi argued the teenager acted in self defense when he did fire his weapon while showing restraint and firearm discipline and deciding other times not to shoot. Now, but they don't want to take it. Why did he come over across state lines in the first place? As a 17 year old, Unlawfully doing, you know. Let me let me ask uh, sane and rational white people out there that's listening to this, because I feel like Paul Mooney at some point, you know. Uh, but let me ask y'all, what do y'all expect black people to do? Just keep back, sit back, and keep taking abuse from y'all over and over and over. And just keep watching our children. Do you think that we are made to the point where you done beat us down so much where uh, all we like to do is sing and dance? And none of this stuff really generates um, uh, a hatred? or or Because uh, 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 hate can get some shit moving too. Don't fool yourself. A rebellion or a... Um, a demeanor in black people where they feel like they can't trust you at all. Do you understand that? And y'all fine with that? Because y'all really think that's going to, you know, it's going to be like this? I mean, good thinking white people, that that's who was out there. Not just black people. Good thinking white people, brown people. You Injustice is an injustice. Nobody hate nobody because of their color. People hate injustice. And this right here, y'all already setting the tone for this bullshit. You already setting the tone, setting the tone for it. You know, the police told this guy, um, 
him. If police tell him it's a good thing you people are here, given the state of lawlessness that's existing, is that something that's influencing the defendant and emboldening him in his behavior, the judge said? That would seem to me that would be an argument of relevance. But nobody is even dealing with the fact that he came across the state line and his mama dropped him off and he's a teenager with an AR-15. Please leave me your comments below before I blow a gasket. You know? Um, because this is so insane and so ignorant that these lies can just bust the stomach of a brass monkey. It's just disgusting. Leave your comments below, people. If you like what you hear, like, subscribe, and share.